sleepyhead. Hello, sleepyhead. I can see quite clearly when I look into your eyes that today you're feeling quite stressed out. Yeah, maybe even a little overwhelmed. Maybe even anxious. Yeah, when I look in your eyes, I see a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety. You're feeling overwhelmed. Maybe even a little bit of despair. But if you'll allow me, there's something I can do for you that I think will help a lot. When's the last time you had someone go in and clear out all your jitterbugs? Oh, so you don't know that you have them. That's okay. It's nothing to be embarrassed of. Not everyone can see jitterbugs, but most people are playing host to them many days of the year. Oh, don't be scared. I know it's scary to be told that you have a bunch of bugs on you, but this isn't like an infestation. They're not on you. They're not in your body. They live in your head space. So, this space all around your sweet head. And they're not nefarious. In fact, they're quite pretty and quite sweet in their own way. But, like anyone, they really like positivity, joy, sweetness, courage, good intentions, comfort, serenity, and all the happy feelings that we as people can generate. So, the problem is, when too many jitterbugs make a home of a really sweet, well-intentioned, good person, they can end up bringing us down a little bit because they eat up all our good feelings. Yeah. And I know what you're thinking. Wow, do I have jitterbugs even when I'm feeling really bad and really down and don't have a lot of kindness for myself or for others? The answer is yes. Because in those times, sometimes we are trying our hardest to generate those good feelings. So if you've ever felt like you're struggling to achieve critical mass with your positive momentum or your um, self-care or anything like that, you can't really tip the scales in a way where you're feeling much better at all, but you feel like you're really trying. Consider that maybe you have some jitterbugs in your headspace eating up. So, because like I said, these aren't nefarious creatures, they just tend to overeat and overstay their welcome, I'm going to clear out your head space. And I thought I'd take the opportunity to introduce you to some of the different kinds of jitterbugs. Of course, jitterbug is just a colloquialism for this type of little eater. So I'm going to use these to very carefully pick them off your head. And then I'll put them in this jar for humane release. Where will I release them? Well, back into the wild. It is important to have some jitterbugs out in the human population. Think about it. Maybe if we are getting a big head or engaging in toxic positivity, some jitterbugs could help balance us out. <laughs> exactly. Or if you have so much confidence in yourself that you're about to embark on something foolhardy or even dangerous, a few jitterbugs can actually remind you to rein things in and be a little more careful. So, they're not all bad, but certainly in excess or in situations where we're just not generating enough positivity as it is, they can definitely be a pest. So, yes, but as a whole in the human population, they're more symbiotic than parasitic. They do do some good. If you've ever seen a celebrity or anyone in the public sphere who seems like they lack a healthy amount of self-doubt, it's possible it's because they can afford to constantly have people come in and clean away their jitterbugs. 
Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So firstly, when I look at you, I can see right here that you have what I like to call a focus locust. So I'm going to very carefully pinch it right on its thorax and pull it off. we can find right above your right above your eye is a very sweet little bug this is a social butterfly a social butterfly a social butterfly and it has gorgeous use my hands for the next few. These two are a lot hardier, but you have a few on you that have very fragile exoskeletons or no exoskeletons at all, so I want to be very careful. is bioluminescent. It glows. Its source of this light is all the confidence that you garner every time you invest in yourself. Every time you do something to try to make yourself feel better, anytime you try something new, 
anytime you push yourself to be better, this little one is reaping all the benefits. For this next bug, I'm going to go right by your cheek and I'm going to pick up this little, little bug. This is called a romantic. Of course, this isn't the proper Latin name, nothing like that, not even close, but those of us who know how to remove jitterbugs do come up with affectionate names for them. So this one is a romantic. Now, don't be alarmed by the tick part. He's not a bloodsucker, nothing like that. He subsists entirely on those feelings of sentimentality and nostalgia and whimsy that inspire us to view our own lives, our stories, our memories, and our relationships through a more romantic paradigm, or a more romantic lens, or in a more romantic light. So while a more narcissistic person may over-mythologize their own life, a person with not enough romance runs the risk of going too far in the other direction and not seeing the poetry inherent in their everyday life. So, if you have a romantic eating up too much of these impulses, then maybe you're not as inclined to light that candle at dinner or take that picture with friends or, or tell that story from your childhood So now that he's gone, maybe you'll be a little more responsive to those impulses and drum up a little more magic, a little more romance in how you regard yourself and in how you relate to others. Now, I just see one more that I really want to remove for today. And it's right behind your ear, right here. Just poking out. I'm going to tug ever so slightly. Could you feel that? No, just a little tingle. So I know you can't see, so you'll have to imagine this. But imagine what looks like a beetle. Maybe even like a fig eater with those glossy iridescent green wings. So this one, instead of eating figs or feeding off sugary fruit, lives entirely off your sense of peace. So your ability to forgive yourself for your mistakes your ability to reconcile disparate elements of your human experience, your ability to make peace with others, your ability to be lenient, flexible, clement, gentle, especially with yourself. So as you can imagine, this one left to his own devices will eat up all your sense of serenity and leave you feeling much more shame and often too much pain and resentment to move forward, look
look for solutions. Hold yourself and others accountable. And find the peace and resolution that you so deserve. So, if you're ever feeling restless, kept up at night, recounting old mistakes you'd made, or feeling the sting of grudges and broken trust, just remember this little glutton. In fact, I know you can't see it, but the moment that the peace eater came into the bottle, there was a perceptible shift. Not that the bugs weren't getting along before, but a real sense of calm came over this little community. So, that's what you can look forward to having more of now that he's out of the equation. Like I said, they're not nefarious, but but they do create problems. Everything in moderation, and you just had too many chitterbugs. If you could see them, you would see how beautiful they are. And that's because they're very well fed on all your kindness, all your joy, all your good intentions, and all your wonderful potential. So it's really a testament to all the beauty inside you that these little creatures are so marvelous to behold. So glittery, so colorful, with beautiful patterns, and in the case of this one, even emitting a beautiful glow. So, I'm going to put a few more happy thoughts in here. should hold them over. So I will be releasing them back into the wild. And I did leave you with a few jitterbugs here and there. Some of the smaller, more innocuous ones. Not because I'm worried about you getting a big head, but because some people find the process of removing jitterbugs a little jarring. And I can always come back later and do more. Okay? But for now, looking at your headspace, it's looking much clearer. I think you'll have a much easier time growing those happy, productive feelings. And I know that you do such a good job with your mental health. So of course, this is only meant to be a supplement to all those good practices that you make such a priority. So don't stop doing those things. But, I'm hoping that in any small way, this helped tip the scales for you a little bit. And you're feeling a little bit better. Yes, you of all people work so hard for your mental health, and you deserve a little extra help. So I'm going to come back and check on you later in the week. And I'm going to check your headspace again, okay? How are you feeling, though? you have a clearer headspace. I hope you get some good REM sleep. And I hope all your dreams